Dodge has put the first solid state battery into an electric car. And we know the details, we know the actual energy density of these batteries. We know that um, theoretically you could get up to 800 miles of range. Is this the future? Well, apparently starting in 2026, there'll be a fleet of Dodge Chargers equipped with solid state batteries driving around the United States. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. Solid state batteries, they are the future. Will they be in every car? No, of course not. In fact, I think most electric cars will have lithium ion phosphate batteries and sodium batteries, but more expensive long range vehicles will definitely have solid state batteries within a few years time. Stellantis and Dodge, they, um, they need a bit of help right now. They're in trouble and they're really going all in with Factorial. Factorial is the company working on next gen solid state batteries they're teaming up with Dodge. They are now testing a Dodge Challenger and I believe potentially um, really getting these cars into production soon. Well, I'll actually explain when they plan on that happening. By testing these batteries now, they're saying that they'll be ready to put into cars. Well, they're going to have a fleet of them in 2026 and then they're actually going to sell the cars themselves in 2028. So about two and a half years from now. Here's what Factorial actually said. What happened with Stellantis is a very important milestone for cell performance validation. It's not just about higher energy density, it's about cycle life and about fast charging. Above all, this is the first full-blown validation that automakers have shared. The potential benefits are widespread and they're huge. I mean, we're looking at potentially having batteries charging at more than a thousand kilowatt charging speeds, similar to what BYD is doing right now, but also really probably more relevant than that is having range in pickup trucks, in large SUVs for towing purposes, having more than a thousand miles of range, which is ridiculous. I mean, we don't need that, but that's what's going to eventually hit the market. The batteries that Dodge are testing have 375 watt hours per kilogram of energy density that can be charged from 15% to 90% in 18 minutes. So charging speed, to be honest, is a bit behind some of the latest batteries that we've seen in China. But really the, the key is the energy density. 375 watt hours per kilogram means they have a lot more energy density than batteries being used in America or China for electric cars currently. The highest energy density batteries being used in EVs right now are around 275 to 280 watt hours per kilogram. So that's a big difference. That's an additional, that's about 40% higher energy density, and that's massive. But Factorial also have a second generation battery that they say will have closer to 450 watt hours per kilogram. That would give you literally real world 600 plus miles of range in any car. I mean, depending on the size of battery, but you could definitely do that for sure. Here's the thing you could also just have a smaller battery, right? In a sports car, for example, let's say you wanted to make a really powerful sports car, you could put in, say, a 50 kilowatt hour battery, you're still going to get 400 miles of range, which is more than most sports cars that are petrol powered or gasoline powered have today. But you're going to have a really lightweight electric supercar sports car. Uh, on the, the other side of things, right, you could have a, a medium sized SUV with a smaller battery. So you're going to be reducing the weight. Your, 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 EV, your EV is going to be lighter than an equivalent internal combustion engine car. Same thing for pickup trucks. Pickup trucks won't be heavier in the future because of batteries. They'll actually be lighter because of batteries. Here's what Factorial said. Not only can we deliver a strong performance at room temperature, but also at temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. We weren't able to do this until a few months ago. So they're saying charging speed and performance is really good at minus 30 degrees Celsius. The same goes for really hot temperatures. And that's one, one advantage with a solid state battery. It's safer than normal lithium batteries, obviously. It's solid, there's nothing to really set on fire. It's also much safer than high, much, much, much safer than any hybrid or plug-in hybrid. And it's definitely safer than internal combustion. So that's a big advantage here. If you're in high speed crashes, let's say Formula One, let's say any kind of racing, uh, drag racing, or even you're just driving at highway speeds and you're in a crash, 
you're much less likely to be involved in any kind of fire whatsoever. So that safety factor, I think, is a big deal. Anyhow, Factorial say that they aren't working with just Stellantis. They're also working with Kia, Hyundai, and Mercedes-Benz. And the German automaker Mercedes is testing these batteries and has been since February of this year. Now, it's worth pointing out that uh, Samsung also has been testing batteries, solid state batteries as well, in they, won't, they haven't said what cars they're testing them in, but Samsung solid state batteries could be at a similar uh, technical level versus factorial, very similar. So I think, guys, solid state batteries will play a pretty significant role in the uh, premium brands, premium level for cars, higher cost vehicles. Sodium ion batteries will be the, the, the low end where lithium ion phosphate are at now. Lithium ion phosphate will probably be in the mid and then we'll see solid state batteries at the top end. That's most likely how things are going to play out. I don't personally think that NCM or NMC or NMCA batteries, basically uh, ternary batteries, nickel, but, but lithium batteries with nickel, manganese, and cobalt as their primary ingredients alongside lithium. I don't actually think they have a future. I believe within 10 to 15 years, if the US is still making those batteries, they'll be by themselves. It would be, everyone will be saying, yeah, the US is still making those old batteries, lead, lead acid batteries, right? They'll be considered pretty old school. And if you look at all where the technology is going right now, where the money is going, it's going into lithium ion phosphate for sure. I mean, look at um, BYD's new batteries, they're LFP, uh, Geely's batteries, they're LFP, Architect, these new architectures providing you know, 800, 900 kilowatt, 1000 kilowatt charging speeds, they're LFP. Then look at what the sodium ion battery from Cadle is doing. Everyone knows that that's going to change the game, especially for the more affordable cars. So I don't really see a place for NMC batteries. They're really going to be most likely replaced by solid state batteries. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye. Reports have emerged out of China, guys, today. This is crazy news. It's I mean, one of the probably one of the three biggest car companies in 2027 are going to be using solid state batteries. And this is not fake news from Toyota or Honda or Nissan with their wild solid state battery claims and no actual proof or evidence to back it up. This is BYD, the second biggest battery company in the world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. This morning, my boys, Jack and Cal. Jack is 11, Cal is 8. They competed in a triathlon here in Newcastle. So I just thought I'd share that with you. They did really well. So well done, boys. Very proud of them. BYD is expecting to begin demonstration use of solid state batteries in 2027. However, another site, Car News China, says BYD will start mass installation of solid state batteries in 2027, according to the company's chief technical officer. On February the 15th at the second China All Solid State Battery Innovation and Development Summit Forum, Sun Hao Yun, CTO of the Shenzhen BYD Lithium Battery Company Limited, revealed the BYD has rolled off 60 amp hour all solid state batteries from the pilot production.